Hey, welcome to the channel. MacCam89 here, and I've got a different video for you. Today, we're going to go through my personal collection, and I'm going to recommend four games that I personally own for the Nintendo Wii. These are games that I consider gems. For some of them, for some of you, they may be hidden gems. Uh, but these are games that I highly recommend that you pick up. All of them are fairly cheap, too, so I'll talk about the pricing. I actually will pull up price charting and um, that's how we'll go about it and uh, maybe I'll check out Lukey Games too see what they're going about make it a little bit more interesting but yeah these are four games that I recommend for your Nintendo Wii now I know the Nintendo Wii is known for a lot of shovelware and a lot of games that are not particularly great but if you uh, kind of shift through all of that mess, all of that shovelware, you can find a lot of gems hidden bet between all those uh, not so very good games. But these, I can assure you, they're very good games. So let's get right into it. The first game that I'm going to recommend, and it actually is part of a series, there's uh, a couple of these on the Nintendo Wii. And it's the perfect type of game for those motion controls. And the game is Trauma Center, New Blood. And like I said, there's a couple of versions of these. Uh, it is made by Atlas, a very good company with a good track record. And I'm also going to include gameplay video and just explain a little bit about it. So the disc is actually in the console because uh, I was capturing footage. I actually captured all the footage already. And the game also comes with a nice thick manual that kind of obviously tells you how to play, but it also has a prologue, tells you a little bit about the story. And this is definitely a unique game, like I said, very suited for the Nintendo Wii. You're going to see in the gameplay footage in just a second. Um, definitely a very interesting game. Uh, these are fun to play, can be challenging at times. What's cool about this particular version too, uh, this one is actually two-player. And you do have to use the Wii Motion Remote as well, and as well as the Nunchuck. There is a way I think you can play without it, but it is highly recommended that you play with the Nunchuck. And this game is also two-player, so you can grab a buddy and do couch co-op. And as you can see in the footage, this is a visual novel. As far as the story progresses, it uses a great cartoon aesthetic. Um, looks great even on modern television because of that. And it's got a great story, very interesting story. And then as you can see, it's got gameplay where you are the surgeon. And every scenario in it, you know, as the story progresses, these scenarios get a lot more complex. And uh, what you're seeing here is the first level, or the prologue level. It kind of teaches you how to play and things of that nature. But this is a very interesting game. Very unique. There's really nothing like it. Even on the modern consoles. Um, I know they have stuff like Surgeon Simulator, but there's no story. Uh, this, this game provides a great story, visual novel, as well as some great gameplay. And great replayability because you can always go back afterwards and you can replay the uh, all the different types of surgeries and it's a lot of fun and then you can also have a buddy help you so a lot of fun definitely recommend it let's let's pull up the price real quick on this one I'm doing this real time so give me a second so according to price charting um, this game loose is about $5.99 and then complete in box is $10. And let's see what Lukey Games is going for. And yeah, you can get this game on Lukey Games right now. Um, actually a little bit more expensive, so you may want to go through eBay. Because Lukey Games has the uh, this particular version for twenty three forty seven. That's game only, and then the complete version is twenty six forty seven. But according to price charting, uh, you should be able to get it for about ten bucks. So 
you'd probably get it 10 bucks eBay and then there's probably going to be shipping. So you're probably looking anywhere from $15. But even at that price point, even at that $20 price point, this is a, a game that's a lot of fun. Highly recommend it. And for some reason, if you want the other version, there is Trauma Center's uh, second opinion. And that one is actually cheaper on the Luki Games website. That one is 10 bucks, game only, and then 12 bucks for the complete box. I do own the second one as well, but this is the one that I wanted to highlight for this one. Uh, Trauma Center New Blood, fantastic game. Make sure to pick it up for the Nintendo Wii. All right, and I'm going to try to make these lists a little bit varied, kind of like what I did with my PS3 uh, picks. And the next game... This game I actually got in a mystery box, Loved Again Media, and so glad I tried it out because I've been having a blast with it. And that is 007 Quantum of Solace. And uh, you would never guess that this would be a great game on the Wii, but it is. And the cool thing about this game, it is a first person and slash third person. So when you take cover, as you'll see in the gameplay uh, footage, You'll uh, kind of go in this third person uh, view. The controls work very well. There is a little bit of a learning curve, but once you get used to it and the sens uh, sensitivity and things like that, the controls actually work very well for this. Um, eventually you'll be able to aim no problem. You can even use the Wii Zapper, which makes it more accurate. And this game does use the nunchuck as well as the remote, but you could also use the Wii Zapper. And surprisingly, this game is four players, which I have not been able to take advantage of. But I'm going to have to recruit my kids and my wife at some point and check that out. And as you can see in the gameplay footage, the graphics are pretty impressive for a Nintendo Wii title. And this game holds up really well even when there's a lot going on on screen. So explosions and things like that, it does, the Wii does a great job. And to capture the footage, I've actually played this on the original Wii, but to capture the footage, I am playing through a Wii U. And of course that has no problems playing this as well, but I had the same exact experience playing on the original hardware Wii. I didn't have any uh, major slowdowns. It here and there, but nothing game breaking. In fact, I've seen a lot worse on the PlayStation 3, believe me. Um, this is an, an, uh, an awesome game. I actually just picked it up for the PlayStation 3, so I'm interested to see the big differences. As far as what I can tell, the story is exactly the same, just the PS3 is gonna have better graphics and things of like that. But you get the full-fledged experience, plus you get four-player uh, split-screen um, team deathmatch style type thing. So very very cool and let's check out what this game is going for via price charting all right and uh, according to price charting the loose is six dollars and the completing box is about seven dollars and fifty cents see what it is on um, Luki games all right so yeah pretty cheap you can get this on the Wii through Luki games Game only six dollars forty seven cents, and then complete in box seven dollars forty seven. It's obviously for a dollar more get the complete version, but for that price, this is an awesome game. Pick this up if you want a good shooter with a good story on the Nintendo Wii. And uh, as you can see in the gameplay footage, game looks fantastic for the Wii, especially if you play it. I have my Wii hooked up to a CRT, and it looks amazing. So. We're going to go on to our next game. So the next recommendation is a racing game. And that is Speed Racer for the Nintendo Wii. I believe they also made this for the PlayStation 2. Love the box art for this. Hopefully that can show up a little better on camera. And this is a fun arcade style racing game. Comes with a beautiful manual. That's one thing about the Wii is I find that most of the games do come with the manual. It's got a nice thick manual. And uh, quite a bit of pages here. Even though I don't find the game to be overwhelmingly complex or anything, there is a lot of a lot of uh, a lot of pages here. So pretty cool. Great manual. 
It also at the time, because this is actually based on the movie, which I've never watched. And I grew up with the Cartoon Network, the reruns of the actual Speed Racer cartoon, which I actually enjoy. But I've never actually watched the movie, but it looks like at some point it came with a voucher. So this copy that I got, and uh, I ended up buying this game on eBay way a couple of years ago, maybe. Uh, it actually comes with a voucher where you could have paid up to $7.50. Imagine going to the movies with $7.50. I don't even know what it costs now. That probably doesn't even pay for a drink. But $7.50, it would go towards your admission. Pretty cool. Uh, I know they, that used to be more of a common thing back in the day. I don't really see that much with uh, games nowadays. And uh, like I said, this is an arcade racing game. A lot of fun. You can see in, in the gameplay footage there too. It has more of a, um, I wouldn't say cartoony graphical style, but it's a graphical style that I believe holds up pretty well and looks good even on the modern television that I'm playing this on. Again, you play it on a CRT, it's gonna look fantastic. The game runs really well, even when there's a lot of racers on screen and there's a little bit of combat. It's not like Mario Kart where you're shooting missiles and stuff, but you can kind of slam into other racers and do damage. And also, you can take damage yourself, so there's actually a health meter uh, and thing, things of that nature. So, very, very fun game. This is a game that I really consider a hidden gem because you're not really going to find many people talk about this. Because, like I said, it was made for the Wii and then the PS2, and I believe that's it. So there isn't, there probably isn't a lot. I've, ne I've never seen this in the wild, at least for the PlayStation 2. I've seen it a couple times for the Wii. And this is a game that is not too expensive as well. So let's see what this one is going for. At least at the time that I bought it, it wasn't. So yeah, you can buy this game loose, $5, and complete in box, $6. For $6, that's a steal. Let's see what Luki Games has it for. And Luki Games has it a little bit more expensive. Loose is 13 and then complete is 14 However, keep in mind that I don't think the price charting includes shipping. So if you're paying, you know, $6 and then whatever you're paying for shipping too. And then with Luki Games, as long as you spend $25 total, you get free shipping. So it may be worth it. Plus you get rewards points where you can go so it may be worth it to spend that extra buck or two just to get that and uh so far everything i bought from lukey games uh complete has been in amazing condition all right so we're down to my last recommendation at least for this video here this is a really fun game and this is batman the brave and the bold video game based on the cartoon series all the voice actors from the cartoon series are in this game. Awesome game. I don't know if I have the manual. I believe I do. Yep. So we do have the manual here. Again, nice and thick. Beautiful artwork there. And uh, maybe in the future, depending on how these videos go, I'll do a more in-depth. We'll go through the manuals and things like that. But awesome game. I love Batman. Batman is my favorite superhero. So even kind of like these knockoff series like the brave and the bold i do enjoy them i do like watching them this is a two-player game and very very exciting about this game is this is a side-scrolling beat-em-up yes you are hearing that correctly even in the wii era um there was not many beat-em-ups even today there's not that many beat-em-ups although i feel like they're starting to kind of trickle back we have the new uh, Streets of Rage, we had a new Battletoads, I believe, at some point. Um, but this is an awesome beat-em-up. And it uses the Wii motion controls, but it's not crazy. So it does rely a lot of on, on you know, button presses as opposed to having a wave. So you don't have to look like an idiot waving, constantly waving the remote to punch people it does use the buttons uh, which I think is a great idea instead of having to constantly have to swing the motion controls 
you know the motion controls are, are great but i hate when they're kind of forced in the games and they they end up making the game a lot less enjoyable and they didn't do that with this there's some special moves that you have to do a little bit of motion but it's not overbearing it's not too much and uh what's fun about this is it's two player so i actually completed uh, a good portion of this game with my daughter we still haven't completed it yet we need to kind of get back on that but the visual style is based on the cartoons it's a side scroller so it's more 2d-ish with some 3d elements and it just looks beautiful on a CRT it looks beautiful even on the modern day televisions it looks really good and then when you play it on a Wii U you get a little bit of that upscaling to make it look good as well I definitely recommend it, especially if you're looking for a good um, beat em up game this is a lot of fun it offers a lot of cool features like upgrade paths for your characters so you can um, you know continue like for instance I'll play Batman throughout the whole campaign and my daughter will play Robin or wh whomever we end up unlocking because you unlock different characters as you progress through the story and you can do upgrades so it's kind of like a mini RPG elements where you're upgrading certain stats of your character to make them more powerful more health uh, new weapons and things of that nature so pretty cool plus you have a partner that you can pick that is um, your partner so for instance you can pick uh, in black canary in the first level and once you get your 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 meter built up you can use that special character to help clear out the enemies that you're fighting on screen so really really cool game highly recommend it let's see what this is going for Again, it's not a crazy expensive game. It's probably worth more than what it's going for. And if I'm not mistaken, this is exclusive to the Wii. So it looks like there is a Nintendo DS version. That is actually more expensive. Um, I'm guessing it's going to be very similar, but obviously not two-player. But yeah, the according to price charting, the Wii version loose is $9 and the complete in box is $11.99. And then let's see what Luki Games has it for. At least at the time of, the, of this recording, which is uh, April 2024. So a little bit more expensive on the Luki game side, but again, you got to factor in shipping. So may not be. Uh, game only is $16, and then the complete in box is $18.97, so about $19. Bucks. <clears throat> Well, that gets you pretty close to your free shipping and rewards and things like that. So that's pretty cool. So those are the four games that I recommend for the Nintendo Wii. I'd love to hear in the comment section below what you think about these four games that I recommend. Have you played them? Uh, do you see anything here that piques your interest? And let me know if there's something because my Wii collection isn't huge. So there are hundreds of games I'm sure out there that I don't even know about leave a at least one game in the comment section below that you recommend that i check out and i will check it out on lukey games and uh, see if that's something that i want to add to my collection as always thank you for watching make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already and as always thank you god bless and happy gaming